So the car is running. We got our dyno number. We know how much power makes. We know it drives good. We have something big coming up. We know we made it home. We have a big trip coming up. We got a road trip shakedown. We're gonna make sure the old Nova has no issues. And it's very reliable as a daily driver. We're putting it to the test. To call us crazy. Show. Call us. What you will. Call us whenever. <laughs> Don't call us late for dinner. <laughs> I made me a prototype, one off throttle body um, spacer slash heat, heat separator. Insulator. So Insulator, we'll call it insulator. So the throttle body won't get heat soaked. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out. So we don't have too many details to tell you about the road trip in this video because we want to wait till next video when we're gonna be actually doing the trip. So you can you can see all the details on that trip in the next video. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that if you haven't already hit the subscribe button. So obviously we're dealing with the throttle body, the drivability issue that we had in the last video after the dyno that you saw. But we also are gonna really focus heavily on the interior before we go because I don't know if you noticed, but it's pretty loud inside of the car because there's no sound deadening, no carpet, no seat, back seat. There's no nothing going on. So right now the master mechanic is gonna pull down the back seat from up where the front seats were, up here in the rafters. Up in the archives. Yeah, that's where you put stuff to forget about it forever. You might put this car up there. <laughs> forget about it forever. <laughs> you can get like a shrink ray, shrink it to like a toy car and put it up there. Just forget about it. Oh yeah, shrunk the kids. All right, so we're gonna pull down the back seat. We're gonna see what we need to modify in the back seat because, you know, we did the wheel tubs. We don't know if we need to modify it by cutting it. So let's pull it down. Let's find out. But wait, hold on, hold on. First, welcome back to the ZHP garage, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see how the master mechanic is gonna pull the seat down because it's like way over yonder. Use my GoGo -Go gadget arms. You're doing a good job. Wow, I haven't seen that in a while. Not too shabby. Doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Mm. Come on, Spider Man. Come on, save the day. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's just really dusty, but it does look pretty in pretty good shape. It's funny, I can't even like remember what these look like. Man, it's got this really nice void right here. You can almost like put a nitrous spot underneath the seat or something. I don't know who would do that. Well, we might hold off on the good old seats for a little bit. It's gonna be a little more work that I think we have time for, for our, our journey. So this little, this is the factory tub right here, but now we're over here. So this corner is hitting it the worst. And then a little bit up here. Seats are gonna take a little longer. So we're gonna hold off on the seats. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all sound deadening, at least bare minimum. If we have time, we'll put the carpet in, but that that's max. That's all we're gonna have time for before our, our journey. So when we get back, we're gonna have to deal with the seats. But I'm sure after we get back, We'll have a whole laundry list of other things we gotta deal with too. All right, so the the last thing we have for this thing that's that's tucked away up in the rafters here is the carpet kit. I'm a little worried. So I'm not sure if the carpet kit is for a bench seat car or a bucket seat car. So I'm gonna get it down, we're gonna check it out. You better hope it's for a bucket seat car. Man, oh man, oh man. See, I can't even remember when we put that up there. Oh yeah, it's been, it's been a few days. <laughs> See what we got. This thing hasn't even been opened up, man. I don't even know if it's carpet in here. Yeah, what if you, what if you got- it's dirty underwear or something. About to get pranked, man. Oh man, I hope not. I mean, have you ever seen a car with dirty underwear for carpet instead of- If I did, I probably wouldn't admit it. I can't believe it didn't even open this thing up yet. Hey, unboxing video. Oh man. Well, good thing, there is carpet well, in there. Well, there is carpet in there. That's a good, <laughs> good start. Let's see what we got here. Okay. It's even got the uh, it's a black hole in there. High beam switch? Hello there. Goes around the high beam clicker. So we need it to be solid, which is looking good so far. It's looking good, looking good. Now we just gotta determine which one's the front and which one's the back. Oh yeah, this is the front. It's got the it's got the little pad there for your foot. It's all solid. So it's, it's all a good solid. thing. So yeah, so it's a 
It's a bucket seat. So after sound ending, we're gonna throw our carpet in. And we got, um, I think we have one more box. Where's the other box at? Oh, it's in the back of your truck. Let's see what, what else truck? we got? This old bus clunker over here. I, 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 some, I, sometimes I forget I even have a truck. So we got some parts in the back of this. We got this, this is the old door panel we found. And we got some parts over here. Pretty sure that's all, um, I think that's all the AC. That's all the AC stuff. I think this guy here is the last box of Nova. Oh, it is. Nova stuff. Oh, yeah, here we go. Looks like we got the driver's door weather stripping. What else we got in here? Looks like we got the driver's door uh, felt for the window. Oh, there we go. Got the door panels. Got new drivers and passenger door panels. Some gold in this box. Oh, look at this. Brand new seal plates. And Kevin Jones. Parts guy left us with the yeah, gold mine. He's, a, he's the last guy that was in here. And no, they're not blue. This is a protective shipping package. What else we got? We got a hood cowling, hood cow seal. Got the stopper bump bump kit for all the hood and glove box, all the rubber stoppers. Got an old jalopy armrest. If you remember the drivers, well, one of them. One of them was trash. When we stripped the car out, one got thrown away. Got the uh, weather stripping for the trunk. Everything else is over there on the other side. Let's get it over to this side. Got some sort of goop. Black super weather stripping gasket. I think that's pretty much trash. Got an old jalopy crank. Which one's better? One or two. One. Man. Or two. Definitely one. Look how nice that is. <laughs> so one side's gonna have a nice crank and the other one's not. Oh, never mind. We got two good cranks. I'll throw that thing in the trash. We don't need that clapper. Got two good cranks. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I just need the other door, door we handle. Gotta, yeah, we're gonna door. Door, door. We I can't get, say release right now. Door, 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 door. Gotta get valet to let us out. It's a race car, man. You open it from the outside. So the driver's gotta get out and open it for the passenger. The passenger's gotta get out over the driver. Or you just pull up the valet and you open the doors for you. That's what we got. Last of the boxes. So now we're going to go into a time lapse. We're going to vacuum out the car, clean up the bottom, and we're going to roll out the sound deadening. Get the sound deadening all laid out and rolled in so we can put our carpet down. So get your popcorn, throw your feet up, and check it out. So as you can see from the time lapse and the little little pictures, we got all of our sound ending down. Well, not all of it down. All we, all that we have at the moment, we ran out. This is three rolls of sound deadening. We got it down to the point where we can put our carpet in, our new seal plates on, and then we'll get our uh, kick panels here, a little vents in it, get some interior put together. So now we're gonna do the carpet. I'm 
not taking it. All right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fight this thing the whole way up there and back. Taking the time to decide what we're gonna do with the car. The car is fighting us more than any car should ever fight us. Like there's, there's stuff that we haven't even shown on camera because it's like, it's like pointless stuff that's fighting us. It doesn't even make sense for a car to fight you this bad. But the reason why we have fought so hard to get it done is because of this trip. We're full sending it. We're gonna leave a little extra early to get to our buddy's house where we're going to hopefully work on the car and get the throttle body fixed. There's not much more to it, man. You saw the full interior done? Let us know what you thought of the interior down in the comments. It looks pretty good. It looks really good compared to what it was before with the floor all sagging and the old carpet in there. It looks really good. How do you rate the interior? It's not fully done. It's a strong eight, though. It's getting there. No back seat. Back seat's gonna be a little bit of, of work to get it around the uh, wheel the wheel tubs. What's your confidence level on this car getting it ready for what we're doing? I'm just gonna take it out to the desert and drop it off. Light it on fire. Has the car ever fought you this hard? No, this thing's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on with this car. Like, I'm not kidding. Every bolt we put in fights us. Is that how, does it seem that way or is that just how it works? Then you gotta make everything. Nothing, nothing goes together. 459 a gallon. 459, I don't have a gallon yet. I don't know, do you want to go ask him? 
Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, -ho. Well, you went one cent. Oh, well, isn't man. that why they put nine tenths? It must be. So they can rip you off nine tenths at a time. So you can go like this. You can go. You can go. No. It's my joy of the day right there. You want to show this Nova real quick? Hold on, I gotta get my recipe. Your how recipe? Make, how to make the gas. How do you make it? What does it say? <laughs> you spend money, that's how you make it. <laughs> you just put this kid, insert money. <laughs> gas comes out. Check this car out. There it is, everybody. We had the plan to drive it, but we have to do this. So the the Nova the Nova gets a uh, first class trip. It gets gets a nice shelter. Piece of junk. Yeah, it's supposed to be driven tomorrow. It's supposed to drive it. Now it gets it gets to be sitting. Man, you went from I just want to drive it to you're gonna restore it one day. <laughs> Actually, it runs like a champ. We just need to get it to have that mother may I pedal all the time. So if it makes it past the fire and the burn down, we'll put a pedal in or a throttle body in it. I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow a throttle body off of another automobile and see if that fixes it. So we're gonna try that first. And then if it works, we're gonna go buy a new throttle body because we don't have any correlation codes or any problem. I think it just overheats and the motor just shuts down. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw our sixth, seventh rendition of the throttle body, air intake, whatever the heck we got going on right now, but I mean, it. hopefully we can just run this, but I, don't, I doubt we're gonna be able to because I think the throttle body that we're gonna be able to borrow is smaller than I got the, a, the adapter on there. Yeah, I got a whole box. The fittings, adapters. Oh, dude, we got we got we got, we got everything. We can make any intake ducking needs to be done. Get the best gas mileage a car ever got. It's gonna go 500 miles, not use a drop of gas. <laughs> so look, we're flipping the script again. It's gonna be like five hours for for us for when the next video starts, and it's gonna be like four days for you. We just blink. The video starts. Oh. Wow, look at that new oh. video. Come on, come on, trip. Let's go on the trip. All right, everybody, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the big trip we got. You'll see where we're going in the next video. Maybe we might say a little bit on Instagram or Facebook if you follow us there. So go follow us if you don't already. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.